Hey guys, in this episode I'll be going over all the parts that you'll need to build your electric mountain board. But before I get started, I'll leave links to all the parts that I'm using in the description. So if you guys are interested in using them, you can go ahead and purchase them. So, the first thing you'll need to build your electric mountain board is a mountain board, obviously. My mountain board is called the uh, MBS Autumn. It's an Autumn 90 mountain board. The price for this mountain board was about $161. And eBay had a coupon, so I paid about $130. Nine dollars for this mountain board. I'll leave a link in the description to this mountain board. You can get it for about one hundred and forty dollars on Amazon, so I'll leave that link in the description. Now, once you have your mountain board, you'll need motors. I chose brushless motors because they're small and they're very powerful. I highly recommend you to get a to get a brushless motor that starts with the number 63 and it's about 200 kV around 200 kV So the reason I told the reason I highly recommend you to get a motor that starts with the number 360 that starts with the number 63 is basically because the bigger your motors are the more power you'll get and you'll need that power because a mountain board is very big and you're also getting big wheels and if you're doing a dual setup you'll obviously need two motors now once you have your motors you'll also need uh, ESC's so this is the ESC I chose. It's a Race Star 120 amp ESC. I got this ESC for about $54 on eBay. I'll also leave a link to this ESC. When choosing your ESC, you have to make sure that um you have to make sure the ESC can handle the amount of power you'll, you'll need for your mountain board. So let's say you want to do a three cell setup. So basically you have to make sure your ESC can handle three cells. Three cells meaning about 11.1 volts. The more cells you have, the faster you'll go. Which basically means you'll have more volts. So one cell equals 3.7 volts. So if you have three cells, you times 3.7 by three. I'm doing a six cell for each motor. So basically this ESC can handle about six cells, which is about 22 volts per motor. Cause I'm doing a dual setup cause I have two of everything. So basically if you're about to purchase an ESC it should say in the description the amount of volts or cells your ESC can handle. If it doesn't show the amount you can just do, do your research on Google and try to find out how much the ESC you're looking at can handle. So once you have your ESC you'll need your batteries. The most common the most common used batteries are LiPo's three cell batteries. As you can see it has three cells. One, two, three. And that will equal to about eleven point four volts. So basically the more Hello. the more volts you have basically means the faster you'll go and the more amps you have that's basically going to determine the range of your electric mountain board. So, apart from electronics, you'll also need pulleys and motor mounts. 
For the motor mount, I just cut out this piece of metal, steel, and I'm basically gonna mount it to my mountain board right here. Just like that, and I'll have the motors going through here. And you'll also need pulleys. If you're gonna buy this mountain board, I'll leave links to the pulleys you'll need for this wheels down in the description. So you can go ahead and print it out if you have a 3D printer or you can just go ahead and use a 3D printing surface on the internet. So once you have those parts you'll also need a transmitter and receiver. So once you have those parts I'll also leave the link for that in the description and you can also add lights to your mountain board which makes it look more cool and that's about all the parts you'll need to build an electric mountain board and don't forget guys you need chargers for your lipo batteries I'll, I'll also leave links to that in the description so that's it guys this is part one I'll be making part two when I have my 3D printer, when I print my pulley, and when I buy more LiPo batteries, when I basically have all my parts. So thanks for watching, and don't forget I'll leave links in the description. You'll need to build your very own electric mountain board. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel and also go follow me on Instagram. And if you have a 3D printer and you're willing to print and ship something to my house, please contact me via Instagram. I'll be willing to pay you around $10. Thanks for watching. And good luck with your electric mountain board and also don't forget to wear don't forget to always wear a helmet when you're about to skate. Thanks for watching.